This newly formed Coronavirus Task Force is meeting for the first time, and they are doing so right now. Its 18 members include some of Georgia's top leaders, like the airport general manager, the state school superintendent, the commissioner for the Department of Public Health, all there. So they're all meeting with the goal to make sure Georgia is ready to respond fast if cases are confirmed here. Critics say the proposed budget cuts could make the response more difficult. 11 Live's Deborah Tuff is at the state capitol. Deb, you have reaction from both sides. From both sides, Cheryl, and you know what? The 18 member task force met here in the state capitol about two hours ago on the agenda, planning, prevention, and of course, funding. The governor says Georgia has been preparing behind the scenes for weeks now, well ahead of the CDC's warning Tuesday that it's just a matter of time before we see more cases here in the U.S. Right now, there are no confirmed cases here in Georgia, but the state's been monitoring potentially at-risk travelers going through Hartsville-Jackson since January. Still, some Democratic state lawmakers say Georgia should have been forming a more in-depth response sooner. Well, I think we definitely could be a lot more prepared. They've also voiced concerns that proposed budget cuts could impact Georgia's efforts to contain the virus. So I have constant concerns about the state of health care in the state of Georgia, especially in a state where we have consistently not expanded Medicaid. And especially when we're looking at the governor's budget cuts and taking money out of our rural county health departments. But Governor Kemp says today he spoke directly to Vice President Mike Pence, who's heading up the federal effort. He says the government has promised to make sure states have the money they need to fight the virus. Well, I would tell Georgians they do not need to worry about that. That's what we have emergency funds for. Meanwhile, reports have criticized the CDC for sending faulty test kits nationwide. Because of that, only about a dozen labs here in the U.S. have working kits, including the CDC headquarters here in Atlanta. Department of Public Health Commissioner and Coronavirus Task Force Chair Dr. Kathleen Toomey says that's affected Georgia's ability to get rapid test results back because they have to send them to the CDC lab. I will say that it has affected our ability to get rapid tests back. But Georgia expects to be able to do its own testing within the next two weeks. Ten people have been tested here in Georgia, but the results have all been negative. Now, Dr. Toomey says you can also help the response by getting a flu shot. No, it won't help combat coronavirus, but it'll help keep folks with the flu out of the hospital. So in case coronavirus comes here, doctors have the rooms, have the beds, have the hospitals to help those patients. Deborah, thanks a lot.